busy. Oh, just making the most of a quiet spot. Mm, good for you. Um, Carlos and I were wondering if you'd like to come and have your tea with us after work. Thank you, Nicola, but I've already got plans with Ed. Bring him with you. Ordinarily, I would. Well, tonight it's... We do. Well, I wasn't really... Ten hot tips to fan the flames of desire in your partner. Oh, Emily, you and Ed. Thought we'd have a quiet night in. Oh, yes. fantastic. About time, too. Well, I'll stop with Carlos and then you two will have the place to yourself. <laughs> I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to desire and fanning the flames and that. Oh, baby oil. Pour slowly onto his chest and with a gentle circular movement, work your way down to his... Nicola! <laughs> I don't think you'll need any help from me. Don't say a word. We're safe. All right, girls. Hi, buddy. I just wondered if you could do us a favour. Look, I'll see you later. I want every detail. Ten hot tips. Oh, to mine, fun. I think. What well, doesn't come to a grinding halt just because you're pregnant, Paddy? No, no I suppose not. No, I, I didn't. Uh... What's that? I was waiting on the doormat when I got in from your dad's solicitor. What's it say? Just that he's starting proceedings. Once half the house, that sort of stuff. It's not like it's come out of the blue, though, is it? No. But this is the point of no return. This is the sum total of my marriage. So what's your plan to do now? Get my solicitor to write to his. Start playing the game, I suppose. So we're going to have to sell the house? Sit down. I think the three of us need a little chat. No, I just know what it's like, Emily. Rona could wait around for years before Marlon even plucks up the courage to ask her out. So you're trying to move things along a bit? Yeah. It's very sweet of you, Paddy. Emily, you and me both know how it feels to lose someone, so if you see a friend with a chance of happiness... What then... do you want me to do? Well, we need to try and get them together and give them a chance to realise that they might be right for each other. I'm cooking for Ed tonight. Oh, no. I could ask Marlon to do me a pudding. Get him to bring it to the pub. Well, I worry about Rona. Brilliant. Come here. Uh, you're a star, Emily. Thank you. I'm considering applying to another force. Where? Don't know. Just have to wait for a vacancy to come up. But it could be anywhere. Yep. London? Come on. Wouldn't rule it out. Cool. But the point is, and what this little chat is about, is I was wondering whether you two would want to come with me. Oh, don't snap me hand off. Yeah, probably. Why not? Mark? Move out of the area. That's the idea. Look, I'm not sure it's an option. Not with what's going on at the minute. What do you mean? Work, school, friends. Well, you don't have to answer right away. I just wanted to let you know that I'd like you both to be with me. Hello. Oh, you're early. Yeah, I've got a meeting. Who with? A possible client. All right. So, what do you want for your tea then? Well, it, it might spill over, so uh, I'll sort something out when I get back. You suit yourself. Actually, Viv. This meeting, I think you ought to know that it... Emily! Sorry I was so long. You've got everything arranged then, have you? As far as I know. But why don't you get Bob to sort you out with some of his special lingerie? Got plenty of leftover somewhere, haven't you, Bob? Yeah, I've got some odds and sods under the bed. Very odd, some of it. Let me see you what, uh, 32B. Bob? What? I think I'll just put the kettle on. So what was it you were going to tell me about? Oh, uh, doesn't matter. Nothing important. All right. Thanks very much. Time to go. Well, the thing died on me anyway. <laughs> well, I always count that as a plus. Mm. So if you want to go out and have a drink and celebrate, say about five. Mm, or... Okay. Hello. Hi, Marlon. <sighs> what can we do for you? Hey, I just had a quick question about my hamster. Hamster? Oh, she's left her umbrella. Marlon, you haven't got a hamster. No, I did when I was seven. I can still be curious. Why don't you just come out with it and ask her out? Because, well, you saw her. I come in, she goes out. So far, she hasn't even noticed me. Do you want me to have a word for you? No, no, no. Because 
You know, I don't want a girlfriend anyway. Better off on my own. Oh, Emily was wondering if you could do her a special pudding. She's doing something romantic with Ed. Yeah, I've got a lemon sorbet thing in the freezer. Well, she'll be at the Woolly about five. Well, can't she pick it up? I'm just the messenger, mate. I don't know why she's coming back. See you later. Hey. Don't be late. What about that? Oh, that's perfect, Seth. It were going to be better, but you can take it, lad. Are you sure? Aye, she's had that many. She's probably sick to death at sight of them by now. Thanks. It's not Emily's birthday, is it? No. I wish it were that simple. You don't have to tell me. We've got this evening planned together. You know, take our relationship onto another stage. Oh? Beginning to wish we aren't bothered now. Why is that? It's just... I don't know. It seems to come so easily to everyone else. They're all doing it, and if they're not doing it, they're talking about it, and... What if I can't... I mean... What if I don't... You know... Somehow measure up? I shouldn't worry about it, lad. If you're with the right person, things will happen of their own accord. Really? Yeah. And if you and Emily are really meant for each other, and I happen to think you are, nature will just take its course. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, sir, and thanks for this. Better go get a shower. <laughs> Pumice stones, yeah, I mean, just won't go. It lingers and... Uh, uh, right, Marlon. Uh, didn't know the old gang would be here. Hello again. Uh, yes. Uh, I've got the pudding for you, a uh, sorbet surprise. It's very kind of you, Marlon. Um, if you've got any chocolate digestives, crush a couple up and then sprinkle them on top before serving. It's just... OK. Better get them in the fridge, then. Thanks ever so much. Enjoy. I'd better, right, I'd better go as well. Paddy, we've only just got here. Yeah, but the, the, the paperwork, pressures of being a partner. Well, I'll walk back with you, sir. No, I've got your pint there. You can't leave Brown on your own. No, right then. See you later. Yeah, you will. So. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Sorry we're late, it was tricky getting away. Yeah, it's the same for all of us, Ollie, but we were here on time. Where's Eve? Probably down the police station telling everything to her new friends. That's not funny, Donna. It wasn't a joke. All right. It's just Mum going on this holiday. I'm not looking forward to being on my own. You're not on your own. We're all in this together, aren't we? All except Eve. She'll be here. Don't take this the wrong way, Ollie, but I'm really glad you're in this with me. You're about the only one here I can trust. You know, Marlon, if you'd have wanted to come for a drink with me, you could have just asked me. What? No, I got to you don't think I set this up, do you? Didn't you? No, no, I'm as embarrassed about it as you are. To be in a pub with me? No, 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 to be cornered into it by my so-called friend. So you don't actually want to be here? I didn't say that. I'm, I'm conf... You don't have to stay if you don't want. But I do. Oh. <laughs> so let's start again, shall we? OK. <laughs> <clears throat> Marlon, there's this um, question I've been really, really wanting to ask you. Yeah? Why is it called a sorbet surprise? Well, to find out, you'd have to try one. <laughs> I thought you might say that. <laughs> I could cook you if you wanted. Uh, no. No, I don't know why I said that. I... No, not tonight, anyway, but I am free tomorrow. Am I? <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! Good! <laughs> it's a date! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Sutherland? Mr Hope. Have trouble finding it, did we? Well, they always say the one that lives around the corner gets there last. Do they? Now, this is my treat. I want you to feel that you can choose anything off the menu, anything at all. Mm. Suddenly got some money, have we now, Mr Hope? No, no, I wasn't going to have a starter. <sighs> Look, I just thought we could deal with this like civilised adults. What we're doing here, Mr Hope, is getting you to live up to your responsibilities to a woman and two children who depend on you for their livelihoods. Now, 
Let's not waste any more of my time, shall we? Where's the money, Mr. Hope? I've had a change of circumstances lately. I was doing well at Naughty Nylons. Which begs the question, why did you leave, Mr. Hope? Well, it, it was mutually agreed that it was time to move on. You mean you were sacked? Look, I don't know what business it is of yours anyway. But you've got another job now, then. Yes, very good prospects. Working for a local entrepreneur, Eric Pollard. Big plans for the future. Ah, so your wife's payments will be starting again soon? Yeah, very soon. The minute I get my first wages. So far, you've got just under a thousand pounds owing. Really? That much? And growing all the time. Look, I assure you, I shan't be shirking my responsibilities. Oh, that's right, Mr. Hope. Neither your ex-wife or the law will allow it. I look forward to hearing from you. I just don't trust her. If you've got something to say, Donna, say it to everyone. All right, I was just saying that we've only got your word that the police believed what you told them. And Mark's. Look, she's telling the truth. I don't think we're going to wait from him again. How do we know she hadn't done a deal? Hmm. Shopped us so she gets off lightly. Maybe that's why she was late. Yeah, right. So where are they then? Look, if we don't trust each other, we might as well give up now. All right, who thinks that I've talked to the police? Katie? Robert? No one. I'll trust you. Thank you. Ollie? Suppose they haven't come for us so far. Donna? I don't know. With that resounding vote of confidence in Ralph. Come in, Mark. Yeah. Come on, see you tomorrow. I might as well get off home. I'll walk with you. You come in. Yeah. Is everything all right, Katie? Yeah. Look, I've got to go. What's the matter with her? Don't know. You're not seeing her tonight? Gotta go home, you know. Dad and that. About tomorrow. I don't know. Is everything okay? Why don't you ask her? Yeah. Good idea. Need another glass of wine? I should have brought some more. There's an open one in the kitchen, Al. I'll replace it tomorrow. Should I go and get comfortable? If you like. <coughs> Anything interesting happen in the post office today? A bit quiet, really. I saw more second-class stamps than first today, which is quite unusual. Really? I, I prefer to pay the extra, get it there a day or two quicker. Most do. <coughs> Cheers, then. Here's to us. Are you ready? I think so. Who starts? You do. Right. Are you comfortable? Not really, but I think we should just seize the moment now. Right. <clears throat> Here we go, then. Follow me! Flame me now! Nicola! <coughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I thought you'd still be eating. Well, we're not. I've just come to get one or two things. A toothbrush, you know. I'm stopping out tonight, so you'll be on your own till the morning. I'm going to the bathroom. <coughs> so how's it going? Nicola, don't go. I don't want to be left on my own. Oh, of course you do. I don't. It doesn't feel right anymore. It's just nerves. Drink a bit more of that. You'll be fine. Don't give up now you've come this far. I'll get out your way. Hmm? I suppose I should really think about packing, shouldn't I? I think you're the best thing that's happened to this bar for ages. I think Diane's gonna miss you. Diane? But I dare say there'll be others. 
Rod Jason, for instance. Rodney. <sighs> Look, why don't you go and have a sit down? I can call in five minutes. Thank you, Jason. If you can spare the time, that is. Business yeah. forecasts looking quite hopeful, then. Ah, well, there's a huge market out there for what we make, Bond. Huge. I've got a great feeling about the factory, you know, Eric, and I'm honoured to be part of the team. Good. And I was just wondering whether there was any chance of a sub against my next wages. Things are a little bit tight, are they? Yeah, family problems due to a downtime between positions. Ah, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here's what I'll do for you. Yeah? You sell enough product, and I won't put a ceiling on your commission. Hey. Yeah, thanks, Harry. Hey. <laughs> Teamwork. Cheers. So, where were we? Not sure. Before we were so rudely interrupted. Oh, yeah. I remember. I think I was just doing this. Right. No, don't, please. I thought this is what you wanted. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, come on, Emily. No, I, th I think Nicholas spoke the moment. Well, let's get it back. Ed, stop it. You don't mean that. I do. This is what we planned. Ed, stop it. Why, you like it. I said stop it. We planned this. We both wanted it. You said you wanted me to make the first move, and I did. I don't understand you, Emily. I really don't. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's nothing to do with you. It's me. I'm really sorry. Emily! Card for Viv's window. What do you think? Experience cleaner. You? Well, it's the christening next week and I need the money. Well, I can help her. You have done enough. How much do you need? Thanks, Jason, but no. OK. But let me get you a drink, though, eh? Half a lager. Cheers. It's going to be strange after all this. What, what? Going home after almost feeling settled here. I'm sorry you're going to miss the wedding. Are you? Well, Nicola's bound to have forgotten something, and you won't be there to bail her up. I dare say she'll manage. Can we get you? Oh, I'll have a gin and tonic and whatever you're having. Oh, cheers. Oh, Charity, did you ever think about getting someone into the cleaning? Oh, I don't think I'd find anyone that desperate. I mean, she's nice enough, clean enough, but Chloe's a bit of a slob. <laughs> well, I might have the answer to your prayers. You are? Go on. I was looking for a couple of hours a week somewhere. But I'll tell you what, you're on. Yeah. Start tomorrow, nine o'clock. It's not anyone. Please. Emily's not being nice, Seth. I thought you two were supposed to be. Um... We were. We had a misunderstanding. Now I can't find her anywhere. Settle yourself down and buy me a drink. I dare say she'll be in, in a minute. Just, just take your time. Everything's all right. Paddy! Oh. No, 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 everything's going to be all right. Oh. <laughs> Hello, love. How'd your meeting go? Uh, as expected. What are you doing? I'm working out what I've got to order from the catalogue. I've got all my posh sorted. I thought... This one for cocktails in the captain's cabin, and this one for dinner dances, and this one for less formal soirees. But I've got no idea what I'm going to wear for going ashore and lounging by the pool, though. Haven't you? You're right, love. Yeah. Yeah, just had a long day. Oh, Bob. I can't begin to tell you how happy I am that I married you. Do you know that? Is that better? I think we should stay here tonight. I'll keep on the sofa and, and you can go and sort it all out in the morning, all right? What's wrong with me, Paddy? Nothing. Will you stop thinking like that? I feel like such a bad person. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. We're so well suited. He's interesting. Makes me laugh sometimes, and he? He's usually ever so kind. <laughs> There's more to it than that, though, isn't there? I wouldn't know. Well, there has to be a... a chemistry. And sometimes it's... there... in the last person you'd imagine. 
And sometimes you realise it at the worst possible moment. What, what's it feel like, chemistry? I don't know. It feels like someone running a feather up and down your spine or you want to be as close to that person as you can be. Breathe the same air. Hang on their every word. And then you realise at that moment that no one else in the entire world exists. I feel safe here with you. You really scared me, Paddy. Would you put your arm around me? I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Go and see him in the morning and everything will be all right. Yeah. Stay the night. You don't have to sleep on sofa, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 